I just came across this really interesting article regarding the Nintendo Switch, and according to this article, two more Wii U games are confirmed to be coming, uh, to be ported over to the Switch in 2020. The only thing that is not confirmed is what those two games are. However, since we do know that there is a very limited pool of games available that has not been ported to the Switch, it really narrows down what the two games that are coming might be. If we look at the Wii U's library and we look at the games that were actually popular, that actually sold well, that could sell well on the Switch, there's not very many. Nintendo has really done a great job in bringing over all of the Wii U's great games in order to have a much larger audience enjoy them on the Switch, which has been obviously much, much more successful than the Wii U. Since we do know that there's not many games that are left, we can use this information to take a couple of educated guesses on what might be coming. But you'll see that the person in this article kind of confirms for us, if not heavily hints, that one of those games that might be coming is Super Mario 3D World, which is very exciting. So let's dive into the article a little further. You can see right here it was posted on January 5th. There are two more Wii U games that will reportedly be ported over to the Switch. Now it says here that a reliable Nintendo insider by the name of Emily Rogers is the one that's sharing this information. Now before reading this I had no idea who Emily Rogers was, but apparently she actually correctly reported that the Nintendo Switch would be unveiled specifically in October of 2016. Then she actually confirmed there was going to be releases of Tokyo Mirage Session Sharp FE Encore and Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. So clearly she does have some inside information with Nintendo, so I'm very interested to see what she said about these Wii U ports. And luckily we have a quote right here. They are not difficult to guess because there aren't many Wii U games left to port, Rogers said. Looking at the top rated Wii U games on Metacritic and our own list of best Wii U games, this is Digital Trends now talking, the choices for ports are apparently between Super Mario 3D World, Pikmin 3, and a pair of Zelda titles, Wind Waker and Twilight Princess. Now, so that's four games. I can count them on one hand, the games that might be ported over. And you'll see later in the article, there's actually a strong possibility we might get all four of these. Now, Digital Trends goes on to say that the two Zelda games were already remastered from GameCube versions, so it may be unlikely that Nintendo will work on them again to bring them to the Nintendo Switch. I think that's false. If they're going to bring them over to a struggling console like the Wii U, I don't see why they wouldn't bring them over to the Switch, where they can take all that hard work they put into remastering them and actually make a profit. Also, Nintendo has gone on record as saying they want to make Zelda an annual franchise. Now, we probably are getting Breath of the Wild 2 for Holiday 2020, but in the off chance that there's a delay, or maybe in the summertime they want to start getting people hyped up, I think it's very possible that we could see one, if not both, of these two remasters, and I still think Skyward Sword is a legit possibility as well. Uh, Rogers has more to say, though. She also wrote about her concern that Nintendo may be leaning a little too hard on re-releases of their older stuff for this year. So that really confirms even more that we might get all four of these games. We have not heard anything about a Pikmin 4 in I th what feels like forever. So I don't know what their incentive would be to release Pikmin 3, but releasing a new Mario game, or in this case an old Mario game, it always sells. New Super Mario Bros. U sold so well for Nintendo, it was only a matter of time before they ported Super Mario 3D World. This seems like we're finally getting that confirmation that it's going to be coming. This isn't official confirmation from Nintendo, but it's about the closest thing we could get. Now it's clearly just a matter of when, not if, we get Super Mario 3D World ported over to the Switch. Now as for Pikmin 3, and the two Zelda titles, Wind Waker and Twilight Princess, I think we could be getting all of those as well, and I certainly would like to see it. I can't really think off the top of my head any other Wii U games that have not been ported over that were not listed in this article. So I think those are the games that we'll be seeing if we do see the ports for the Wii U. 
and we're get we're definitely going to see at least two of them. So I would have to bet it would be Super Mario 3D World and one other, either one of the Zelda games or Pikmin 3. If, it, if we're only going to get two, I would say they're going to do one of the Zelda games and, and Super Mario 3D World. I don't see them doing Pikmin 3 when it doesn't have any relevance. The Zelda game can be used as a marketing tool, and Mario always sells. So that's why I see that. Now, also, when she says they're leaning too hard on re-releases of older stuff, that could be other Wii games. That could be stuff like Skyward Sword, although if they re-release Wind Waker, Twilight Princess, they don't see Skyward Sword. But also, that kind of hints towards the Pokemon remakes. Diamond and Pearl being remade for the Switch, that's, again, some of their older stuff. So I really, I'm not a huge fan of using recycled uh, games and just re-releasing ports. But in this circumstance, I'm kind of excited to see some of these ports come over to the Switch. We've had a lot of new games. The Switch has a fantastic library. And getting some of these games ported, especially remade, like the new Pokemon remakes, would be fantastic. The last part of this article is not very exciting. It just talks about how much the Switch is sold, how that it sold over 15 million units in North America, which surpasses the global lifetime sales of the Wii U, which is a big deal. But then they sneak something very interesting in at the very end of the article, this one little sentence. Rogers also said that Nintendo will dedicate the first three to four months of 2020 to Animal Crossing New Horizons, with the company expected to reserve the bigger releases for the second half of the year. So what this right here tells me is that Nintendo is going to have a very similar year in 2020 to what they had in 2019, where in 2019, in the first three to four months, the only big game that they had, and it wasn't even that big of a game, was Yoshi's Crafted World. And then in the summer, we finally got Mario Maker 2, and then the releases just did not stop coming with Link's Awakening, then Luigi's Mansion, then Pokemon, and it looks like 2019 is going to be a similar year. Uh, Animal Crossing New Horizons is going to be coming in March. So it's looking like it's going to be a lackluster first half of 2020 for the Nintendo Switch. However, that second half of the year has got to get you excited. With the amazing games that we got at the back end of 2019, I'm really excited for Pokemon remakes. I'm excited for Breath of the Wild 2. I'm excited for some of these ports that we're seeing. And I'm excited for anything else that just may not be announced yet. So we'll see what 2020 has in store, and hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy the video, please consider dropping a like, subscribing to the channel, and to stay up to date with any other gaming news. Hopefully you found this video and my analysis of this article to be useful, to be helpful in some way, or to be entertaining in some way. I hope everyone has a wonderful rest of your day or night, and I'll see you on the next one.